guys, welcome to Game Time. My name is JJ, and today we're going to go through a few Super Nintendo uh, ROM hacks and reproduction cartridges that I have in my collection for Super Nintendo. Now, if you aren't aware of what a ROM hack is or what a reproduction cartridge is, a ROM hack is pretty much the same Super Nintendo game or video game that you have, just a different programmer uh, took the liberty to rearrange everything or add stuff or, you know, make the game completely different so that if you played it, it's like playing the game all over again, you don't know where to go, it is, it is really, really, really fun. Um, and a reproduction cartridge would be uh, a game, for example, that never got released here in America, it only got released in Europe or in Japan, and we never got a copy of it. So I'm going to go through a few of the ones that I do have, and I hope that I can enlighten you on uh, what's available out there for actual cartridge video games like you anybody can go download a ROM or this or that you know what I mean but nothing beats actually having the cartridge so I look forward to looking showing you so let's give that in so the first one I'm gonna go through is it's called Super Metroid redesign now I'm a big Super Metroid fan as you've seen with my prior videos and stuff um, I'm not too bad at it I'm not perfect but it's all good it is an awesome game this is probably my favorite um, ROM hack of Super Metroid. It, they, they totally revamped the physics in it, they revamped the map, they redid everything in the game. It's, it's so fun to go through it, but it is hard. Like, I, like right now, I'm figuring out where I have to go. So, like, for a game that's, that I've played for almost 20 years, it's fun to go through again and not know where to go. So, check out Super Metroid Redesign. Um, you can easily download it if you have the original Super Metroid ROM, you know what I mean, on your computer. Um, I prefer the real thing. Like, I go out of my way so that I can play it on my Super Nintendo. It's, it makes it a lot harder. Like, you can't frame skip, you can't uh, save state, you can't do all this. You know, there are games that are a lot harder when you get them on the cartridge. So, Super Metroid Redesign, you should definitely check that one out. It's well worth picking up. Um, I've got Legend of Zelda Parallel Worlds for Super Nintendo. Now, everybody loves Link to the Past for Super Nintendo, and this is probably my favorite uh, ROM hack of Le Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Now, they made it very, very difficult. Uh, you can't save your game till about an hour after or so after you got to pretty much beat the whole first dungeon with no sword. You're throwing pots at guys and stuff like that, but you can't save your game until you get your sword. So, depending on how long that takes, it can take you an hour, it can take you two hours. I've di I died about half a dozen times trying to get to it before I made it the first time. The beauty of having it on cartridge means you die. You don't frame, you don't save state and stuff. So, you got to do it legit. So. Pick this Zelda game up, they rechanged all the map and everything, all the dungeons are different, there's actually different enemies, there's different little things that they added, and it is hard, it is a good challenge. So definitely pick up Zelda Parallel Worlds, um, get the ROM or order a custom cartridge like I did, it's well worth it. Uh, Super Mario World, Return to Dinosaur Land. Now, Super Mario World, you can beat that game in 15 minutes like I did in my other video. Um, this is another one that's really, really good. They, they, there's different ROM hacks for the same games. Um, I try to pick and choose which ones I want. But this one, they remade Mario World completely. The maps are different. Uh, it's not as long as the original Super Mario World, but it is really, really fun to play. Like, it, it, going into levels and not knowing where the keyhole is or not knowing where the actual key is makes you feel good because I've, you've been playing this game for so long, it's nice to have a nice new change of pace and you get excited to get to a new level again or trying to find that secret exit all over again. All the maps are different and everything. Check this one out. It's well worth picking up. Get the ROM if you have to, play it, um, or get the cartridge itself, man. Pick it up. Super Mario World Return to Dinosaur Land. Uh, another really nice one would be Chrono Trigger Crimson Echoes. This is a fan-made game uh, and it takes place after Chrono Trigger, about five years later. Um, after the end of the game, and you pick up where you left off. Chrono, Chrono is now in the Imperial Army with Mar you know, and Marl is there and stuff like that. You've got all the characters, but now it's about everybody. It's not just about Chrono; it's about everybody. And since it's a fan-made game, there are bugs and glitches in this game. Like uh, there are places that'll freeze up and stuff like that because it's not a hundred percent complete. So you gotta take you take the chance. And 
uh, there's places that I've had to do three, four times just because the game froze um, at certain points and stuff. So, but it's really, really well done. It's made with all the same graphics. Uh, excellent storyline for the people who created it. It is very, very well worth it. Good game to have in the collection. Chrono Trigger Crimson Echoes. Uh, a good classic to have. Uh, this never came out in America. It is Dragon Quest 1 and 2 for the Super Nintendo. Um, it's a, just a 16-bit remake of uh, Dragon Quest 1 and Dragon Quest 2 for the normal Nintendo. Uh, this one's actually pretty cheap if you're going to custom get it online. Um, I enjoyed the old classic turn-based RPGs just like anybody else. I'm a big Dragon Warrior fan, um, as you can see from the toys I have and stuff like that. But uh, this is a cheap one, actually, for uh, a, raw, uh, a reproduction cartridge. So I'd look this one up if you're a big Dragon Quest fan, because it's well worth having both of them. You know what I mean? Like, if you... They... Ah, breaking everything. But uh, it would be these two games, but for Super Nintendo. So I'm glad I had these uh, within arm's reach so I can reference them. <laughs> Anyways, Dragon Quest 1 and 2 for the Super Nintendo reproduction cartridge. Well worth it. Uh, pick it up if you're a big Dragon Quest fan. Or if you're a friend of mine, just ask me and I'll lend it to you. Terranigma for the Super Nintendo. As you can see, I still have a $130 price tag for it because that's what I paid for it at the time. It may be cheaper now to get online. I've seen it go to from $100, you know what I mean? But at the time, I paid quite a bit for it. Um, it is the third part in that Illusion of Gaia trilogy. So if you've got Soul Blazer and Illusion of Gaia, which I do have, this would be the third part to this trilogy. Uh, and it never came out here in America. It only came out in Japan and in Europe. So we never had a, the opportunity to have this game released here in America. So the, the only way you were able to play it is if you downloaded the ROM or if you get a reproduction cartridge like this one. So it is really, really well done. It's a nice finishing touch to a good two other really good classic Super Nintendo games. I'm glad I'm sitting here. Um, but Terra Enigma is an awesome game. It's, it's a tough one, but check it out. It is really, really worth it. Terra Enigma for Super Nintendo. And finally, we have Secret of Mana 2 for the Super Nintendo. Now this game, Never came out here, obviously. Um, I remember playing this game for the first time on a ROM way back in the day where it was half translated. So you, I didn't even know what was going on half the time. I had to have the walkthrough in a separate window just so I can understand where to go and what the hell people are talking about. But it was nice to finally get a nice English copy for my actual Super Nintendo. And it, it's a blast. It's a blast. The characters are fun. The graphics are fun. I wish this had come out when it was supposed to come out because now it's, it's, it's underrated now. But man, if this would have came out, when Secret, after Secret of Mana 2 came, uh, Mana came out for Super Nintendo, I would have picked this one up right away. So this is another one that uh, you should definitely check out if you're a big Secret of Mana fan, Legend of Mana fan, Sword of Mana fan, Heroes of Mana fan. Who cares? You know what I mean? Just not the PS2 one. Donna Mana. So there you have it. A few good Super Nintendo ROM hacks and reproduction cartridges to give you an idea of what's available out there. There's so many more. And... Uh, it's just a matter of looking and uh, and stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, so, if you like this episode, please remember to rate, subscribe, and comment. Um, go pick out some reproduction cartridges if you are a super hardcore gamer. And I will catch you on the next episode of Game Time. Peace and happy gaming! <laughs>